What is up you guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube. And so having recently reviewed the 2022 Honda Pilot and having previously a few months before that reviewed the 2022 Hyundai Palisade, I thought this would be a perfect comparison video to put these two head to head because in my opinion, both honestly are great picks. I can easily see myself going with either one of these. There are of course plenty of similarities between these two as well. Both are three row options from their respective manufacturer both have naturally aspirated v6 engines and there's plenty of more similarities as well but there are quite a few differences that differentiate these two and so in this video i'm going to lay out the 10 key differences what should help you make a decision and by the way if this video does end up helping you make that decision feel free to hit the like button to help me out with the youtube algorithm of course or just hit the like button if you want to see more comparison videos on this channel in general but in this video i'm going to go ahead and get started with my number 10 key difference working my way to number one with there being a clear winner at the end being the SUV with the most wins in each category. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and get started with number 10 on my list. And so for my number 10 comparison, it is going to be simply the price. And so 2022 Hyundai Palisade is going to start at $33,150. Now the top trim level for that one is going to be the calligraphy. That is going to start at $48,390. Then on the other side of things, the 2022 Pilot, big changes for the bottom trim level for the 2022 model year. It's actually now going to start at $39,060, which is a $7,000 jump from the 2021 Pilot but because they eliminated the LX and EX trims, that's why that's happening. But top trim level then being the black edition for the Pilot is then going to start at $50,620. So having said that, Hyundai does have the lower starting price here and also a lower price for the top trim level. So I'm gonna have to give this one to the Palisade. One to nothing, Palisade is in the lead. Then for the number nine comparison is going to be the power differences. And so 2022 Palisade is powered by a 3.8 liter V6, 291 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque sent to all four wheels through an eight-speed automatic. Zero to 60 time for that Palisade is going to come in at approximately 7.1 seconds then. But then looking at the 2022 Pilot, 280 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque sent to all four wheels through a nine-speed automatic. Zero to 60 time, this is quite interesting interesting you guys 6.2 seconds and this is something Honda always gets right I don't know if it's their transmission tuning or what it is but their 0 to 60 times absolutely kill it just about in every category so for that reason Honda Pilot is nearly a full second quicker to 60 than the Palisade Honda Pilot is definitely going to win this one one to one tie Next on the comparison list is going to be the cargo space comparison. So 2022 Palisade comes in at 18 cubic feet behind that third row with a total of 86.4 cubic feet with all rows folded then. But 2022 Pilot gives you 16.5 cubic feet behind that third row and then 83.8 cubic feet with all rows folded. So they are pretty similar. Like I said, they both are three row SUVs, but Palisade does offer slightly more cargo space than the Pilot. So I will have to give this one to the Palisade. Two to one, Palisade is in the lead. And for our number seven comparison, working our way down to number one being the braking comparison. And so this one is important because if you have kids in the car and you more than likely will, because this is a three row SUV, you do wanna be able to come to a relatively quick stop. So you don't end up hitting the vehicle in front of you if it were to come to that. So 2022 Palisade up front is going to give you 13.4 inch ventilated front discs in the back, 12.4 inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, it is going to come in at 129 feet. And it is a soft braking feel. I do distinctly remember that in the Palisade, so it's a little bit on the softer side. Doesn't quite give you that initial feedback, but it is pretty normal for a three row SUV, I will say that. Then for the 2022 Pilot, up front you're gonna get 12.6 inch ventilated front discs, in the back 13 inch solid rear discs. 60 to zero stopping distance is going to come in at 120 feet, so about nine feet shorter than the Hyundai Palisade. And so both do offer soft braking feels, I will say that, but Having said that, the pilot is going to bring you to a quicker stop. So once again, it puts us at a two to two tie. 
Then for the number six comparison being the miles per gallon comparison or fuel efficiency comparison, I guess you could say. 2022 Palisade comes in at 19 city, 26 on the highway for the front wheel drive, 19 city, 24 on the highway for the all wheel drive. Then take a look at the 2022 Pilot, 20 in the city, 27 highway for the front wheel drive, 19 city, 26 on the highway for the all wheel drive. So surprisingly, even though the Honda Pilot is quicker to 60, it is also more fuel efficient than the Hyundai Palisade. And by the way, both of these SUVs do take regular unleaded fuel as well. So Pilot is going to win the fuel efficiency comparison, putting us at a score of three to two. Pilot is in the lead. Then make your way to the number five comparison being the warranty. And so this is a big one because this is a pretty substantial difference between the two warranties. So Hyundai overall does give you America's best warranty being five year, 60,000 mile bumper to bumper, 10 year, 100,000 miles on the powertrain. 2022 Pilot is going to give you a three year, 36,000 mile bumper to bumper, five year, 60,000 miles on the powertrain. And so somebody's going to say at this point, well, it's okay because the Honda is more reliable, so you don't need as much of a warranty. But if you actually look and consumer reports, both of them are rated an average reliability, the exact same thing. So if you go by consumer reports, it's the same reliability, but nonetheless, this is an easy win for the Palisade. They are gonna have a bigger warranty. So once again, back at a tie, three to three. And so moving on to number four on our list being safety. And so yet again, a pretty large difference and a very important one as well, because seeing as you are more than likely going to have passengers in the vehicle, you do want to make sure it is a very safe vehicle. So 2022 Palisade is an IIHS top safety pick plus, which by the way is the very highest designation given by IIHS. It does come standard with rear parking sensors, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist and more and standard airbags plus a driver's knee airbag as well, which you don't always get. And so on the other side, 2022 Pilot is not unfortunately an IIHS top safety pick, but it does give you adaptive cruise control standard lane keep assist, no knee airbags though, unfortunately. So overall, because of that top safety pick rating, Palisade is going to win on the safety comparison, putting us at a score four to three. Palisade is in the lead. Then make your way to number three on the list being the tech. And so 2022 Palisade comes standard with an eight inch color touchscreen display. We'll start with that. However, there is a 10 and a quarter inch screen that is available if you wanted to go that route in the upper trim levels. But wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay is also available, which is brilliant. You don't always get that these days. And there is also a 12.3 inch fully digital gauge cluster, which I personally absolutely love. 64 colors for ambient lighting. And when it comes to the sound system, 630 30 watt Harman Kardon sound system with 12 speakers. Then when you're looking at the 2022 Pilot, eight inch color touchscreen display does come standard across the board. It does not get bumped up from that. It's just every trim level is going to get that. No wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, unfortunately, but where the Pilot does something better here than the Palisade is going to be a 10.2 inch Blu-ray player for the rear passengers. Palisade doesn't have that, so I did want to reference that. No fully digital gauge cluster, although most of the gauges is digital on the Pilot. One color of ambient lighting, dependent upon the trim level that you go with, Black Edition is going to give you red, and I believe the Elite is going to give you blue, so a little bit difference there as well. When it comes to the sound system, slightly less wattage being 590 watts. It is a Honda sound system with 10 speakers, so Overall, the Palisade has larger infotainment available, wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, a fully digital gauge cluster, 64 colors with ambient lighting and a better sound system. And then the Pilot is going to give you that rear entertainment system that the Palisade does not. So overall, Palisade is going to take the win when it comes to the tech, which now puts us at a score of five to three. Palisade is in the lead. Instead of making our way to our number two comparison is going to be the rear leg room. And so of course you want your passengers to be comfortable. And so 2022 Palisade for the third row comes in at 31.4 inches. Second row leg room then comes in at 42.4 inches. That's a good bit on that second row there. But 2022 Pilot actually is going to come in at 31.9 inches in that third row. So slightly more room there in the Pilot when it comes to that third row. But then the second row comes in at 38.4 inches inches. So Pilot does have slightly more third row legroom. Palisade is going to have substantially more second row legroom. So to be fair, both of them kind of take a win in this category. So I'm going to call this one a tie. Palisade is still in the lead five to three. 
That's it for our last comparison. I wanted to compare the interior quality between these two. And so 2022 Palisade is going to give you Napa leather available, a microfiber suede headliner also available on the calligraphy trim level, heated and ventilated front seats, heated and ventilated second row seats as well, and rear window sunshades then as well. But then taking a look at the Pilot, perforated leather seating, heated ventilated front seats, rear window sunshades, and heated second row seats are going to be available. So having said that, the Palisade does add a suede headliner, which you typically find in vehicles like BMW, Mercedes, and just overall luxury vehicles, which was insane to see it there. Ventilated second row seats as well, and overall better quality materials in general. And just about every review that you look at, that is one thing that is always that the Hyundai Palisade and even the Kia Telluride do absolutely amazing when it comes to interior quality. So overall, that is going to put us at a score of six to three, Palisade is going to take the win. But while the Palisade may have won this particular comparison, that does not mean that it may necessarily be the right decision for you. And so I get the brand loyalty argument. If you're a Honda fan, trust me, I know I was that person for a long time. I've owned four Hondas, so I could easily see myself going back there. I currently own two Hyundais, so I am partial to both of these brands. I could see myself owning either one. If you wanted better acceleration and better braking and better MP, PGs, perhaps the Pilot is going to be the one that you're looking for. But in the end, the Palisade wins in the category of pricing, being it starts at $6,000 less than the Pilot, has more cargo space, a better warranty, better safety, better tech, and better interior quality as well. And I didn't even mention the three years of complimentary maintenance with the Palisade as well. So for the first three years, you don't have to pay for oil changes, tire rotations, things like that. But anyways, let me know what you guys think between these two. Let me know what you would pick in the comment section below. That is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold